is, uh, is mean to those families, can't you? Well, we're joined now by Tom Campbell, who's Chief Education Officer at the Greenwood Academies Trust, which has 36 schools across the east of England. Uh, hi, Tom. Thanks for joining us. Um, how much difference have these devices made? Well, the devices have, have transformed remote learning for, for many, many families. Um, across our trust of over 18,000 pupils, two thirds would be recognised as, as disadvantaged. And that meant that the uh, deprivation impacted on their access to learning at home. Uh, we work really hard in schools to make sure that there's equality uh, in terms of devices provided in classroom. But when it comes to remote learning at home, um, we, we really did see the impact of deprivation with children having either no device or sharing a device with three or four siblings, which um, proved very difficult when all children were, were trying to learn at the same time. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been transformational. We, we've been really fortunate as a trust. We managed to draw down over 3,000 devices uh, from the government scheme. Um, we had donations from family members and local community, but we also had large donations from corporate partners such as Capital One, Experian. Uh, we had one example where Deloitte's purchased a laptop for every single child uh, in a Peterborough special school. All of this support has been transformational for, for many of those families. And we, we heard some of the parents uh, in that piece by Fiona saying... Look, now the schools are going back full time from the 8th of March that uh, they're going to have to hand the, the, the tablets or the laptops back. And so that might have an impact for home learning or if there's another lockdown or anything. What do you think can be done to try to, to, to ease that uh, transition? It's a really complex question because, um, if you, if, for example, you don't solve hunger by simply providing people with an oven. Um, and I think whilst there's been a clamour to provide all children with a device, I think it underestimates the complexity of, of learning. Um, and hopefully at school, what we can do is, is bring what we've learned around remote learning. And I'm sure uh, teachers will bring to the classroom new skills that they've learned, whether that be on Google Classrooms or Microsoft Teams. Um, and I'm sure that will enhance the classroom experience um, but teaching and learning is really complex. Um, there are emotional aspects of, of learning that I think parents now appreciate, um, having seen their children struggle on occasion at home. Um, so whilst the technology is always welcome, um, we very much promote a more blended approach, which will continue using technology where appropriate, but will also try and restore the, the, the social aspect of, of, of education and learning. Um, so, so it is a complex issue that we're, we're understanding more about every day. Big decisions in the next few days. Tom Campbell, thanks very much indeed. Johnny's from Leicester. And they're still asking for laptops and tablets if you've got...